YouTube channel. It's Mariah Deshay, and I'm here with my boyfriend. We are doing a celibacy video, and in this video, we're just going to talk about our journey, answer some questions that some of you might have asked me, and um, yeah, let's get into it. What is celibacy? Celibacy is just the act of staying um, abstinent until you're married or until whatever um, you are seeking. Sometimes people can um, just have celibacy streaks where they want to be celibate until they meet somebody that they uh, are comfortable with or whatever. Or you have people who want to be celibate until they are married. I decided to go on my celibacy journey. Did you want to add something? I want to add something. Okay. So I'm going to just start off by like why I decided to um, be celibate and what led me and all that stuff. So. A year ago, um, well, actually a little bit more than a year ago, I was in a, a relationship and I was just giving myself away, my body away, should I say, and it just wasn't a good relationship. I felt empty. I felt, I didn't feel like I was worth anything. Um, I just really felt um, like sinful. I just didn't feel like myself. <clears throat> and like because the relationship was already not a good relationship on top of me giving myself away i just felt god god had put it on my heart for a while while i was in that relationship it lasted for like a year and a half to stop having sex and obviously i had i wanted to but i couldn't stop when i was in a relationship and i wasn't being obedient like the longer the time went the more convicted I felt when I did have sex. So at first, like I said, God put it on my heart. I would keep doing it. I would feel bad, but it wasn't like I felt so bad. But eventually it got to the point where while I'm having sex, I'm literally thinking, dang, like God told me I need to stop doing this. So I, then I had surgery and I needed to stop having sex because the doctor told me like, you gotta chill basically. So I told the person I was with, like, you know, I need to chill I'm having sex and um they were just like okay baby that's fine like okay and me knowing them like one i had already got cheated on in that relationship so for that person to just be like oh, okay yeah that's fine it was just like a side eye because like i know if you're not getting it from me you probably gonna get it from somebody else and that thought alone is just sad because it's like if you feel like that you shouldn't even be in a relationship but like i said i didn't really value myself back then so I felt like, shoot, I need to have sex with my man so nobody else, you know, so he won't be going out outside the relationship looking for that. That's when it officially, like, broke off and I started my celibacy journey. And I had some hiccups. Like, I would start, I'll go five months, I would mess up. Then I'll go six months and then I'll mess up. And then I just, you know, had some time to myself and I started again last October on the 28th before me and him started dating and that's how that went for the most part and you want to tell yeah, you with, with my story I've been celibate for since this is about six years now so mm -hmm. basically when I graduated high school I just decided to or I'll start with where I was I just said all-time low like Mariah said she didn't value herself I didn't value myself I didn't know my worth I didn't know who I was. So I decided I'm just gonna give everything to God and that's including living living pure, being pure. So that's where it all started and from there, um, it brought us up to this point. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so yeah, so basically, even if you, like if you're not spiritual, that's fine, but I just feel like you, anybody can benefit from being celibate or going on a celibacy journey or even just detox or whatever you wanna do. I personally feel like Cause like I said, if you would have told me a year ago that I would be able to go a whole year not having sex, no. No ma'am. No ma'am. I literally would have got weak, like <laughs> for real, like weak because it was just, that's just, even though I had the heart to do it, it was just like, really, I'm not about to do that. But the fact that I have accomplished that, like I just feel so, like one is no better feeling than being able to go to sleep and know that one you're not getting played or 
not even getting played, but you you don't have to use your body to keep somebody. Like we, me and him, been together for almost a year next month, and it's just no better feeling knowing that he's with me because of me, for me, like learning my mind, my soul. Just I don't know, just learning somebody for who they are, opposed to having sex cloud your vision and things like that. Because I don't think a lot of people realize how powerful sex is. Like when people be like, "Oh, snatching my soul," I want somebody to do all that stuff. Like. That is like is real. Like you really are exchanging souls and having soul ties and that stuff. If you are linked with somebody who is um, depressed or just every basically everything they feel, you gonna feel. It's gonna attach to you. So when I, cause I never really had problems. Everybody had their insecurities, but I never had problems with like not feeling like I'm worth it. So when you are giving yourself away to somebody and they're not valuing your body or valuing you, you're going to equate that to you not being worth it. So um, we basically just wrote like benefits that you can have from being celibate. So my benefit is one of them is just discernment. Like mm -hmm. me being celibate, I can hear from God so clear um, like never before. I know when God is talking to me and... Um, like I said, sex is just not clouding my vision or the things that I want to hear uh, from God. Like it will if you are. You, we could go back and forth so you can okay, say Okay, so for my first one, it's confidence. Like it's kind of backwards because it's made the same now. The more girls you can, the more girls you can pull and sleep with, the more confident you should be. But after a while, it got to a point for me like I feel more confident knowing that nobody can pull me then I could pull everybody. So th that's where it starts with, with that on the confidence side. Like just knowing like nobody can have you. It's mm -hmm. a good feeling. For me, it was self, self worth. So that can kind of go like with confidence too. Definitely. But like I was saying earlier, just knowing now, like I'm secure in my relationship. Like before it was just like how I felt like, okay, I need to have sex with him so he don't go cheat on me or so that our relationship can stay healthy. Now it's just like, I don't have to use my body as a pawn to keep keep him. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the other one. Yeah. So my next one is peace. Like you, if you're not sleeping with people, I mean, you don't got to worry about STDs, STIs, um, unplanned pregnancy. Like, I, I got friends that's literally, they, it go, it's the same cycle. They, they sleep with different people. And it's always a pregnancy scare. Man, quit playing with me, man. No, for real, don't play like that. Bro, I caught a, I caught an STD. Like, and that just, that takes your peace. Like, how can you be, how could you have peace just knowing you, you contracted different diseases and you're still putting yourself in the same position to do that? That peace is nothing like it. Like, like you said, cause girls do them pregnancy scares ain't nothing to play with like you be stressing on google trying to search up your symptoms and stds too so like you said just knowing like i don't even have to worry about that there's no better feeling than that and then um for my last one i just said the connection so for me to be as connected with him and not have had sex not done anything it's just truly mind-blowing like I would have never thought like anybody in my past that I have done that with like I've never been as connected like I have with him and I haven't done anything so I think that alone is so powerful and yeah that's basically it for that one and yeah and so for my last one just focus like being able to focus on what matters like us being how young are you baby boy if you don't get 22 22 I'm 23 like we can focus you on know how old I am <laughs> or you was asking I know, I was for asking oh for I'm gonna show like okay <laughs> so just with us being so young like we could focus on what matters like getting our career together getting established God family whatever it may be opposed to just having sex all the time because like mm -hmm. you said it clouds your mind and it mm -hmm. starts to consume you so you can just really focus on life because life is more than just who, who you gonna sleep with next or having just a temporary film. Mm -hmm. Like how I knew I shouldn't be with the, this person, but I'm sitting here thinking, but you are, you have so much potential and you, you just be like trying to put that image that you have of them, even though that's not who they are and not what they've showed you that they are. And so 
that's why like you be truly trying to force situations whether it's a relationship or you just mess around with somebody like you be trying to force it because that strong um desire is making you like basically not be real with yourself and oh and i meant to say discipline that's another benefit mm. that it's just like when you oh, are disciplined in that area then you can be disciplined in any other area so some questions that i've had people ask me is just like um like, what do you say to people who say you have to test it out before you get married? Like, a lot of people say that. Like, I'm not, I can't do that. Like, I don't know. What if it's small and what if all that stuff? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> you can go first. Too, yeah, right? that's definitely, I know for women, that's definitely a big thing. Mm -hmm. But, that's hard. So, if we're talking about being celibate until marriage, um, like, you just have to have a strong enough why. The best answer is, could you go to a jewelry store and say, I want to take this home and test it out before you leave the store. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The answer is no, because they value their diamonds. So it's the same with us. We shouldn't have so little value on our bodies and on our purity that it's just a, it's just a quick test to, to see what it is, because too much comes attached to that. Mm -hmm. So you just got to... For, for one, the sex will come. Like, that comes with being intimate. Like, if, if you're gonna be celibate and see you're married, like, it's emotional um, intimacy that precedes physical intimacy. Because you can have everything you want <clears throat> physically, but if that emotional side isn't there, your needs still aren't gonna be met. Mm -hmm. So I definitely feel like that, that's the answer. You just gotta know your why and why you're doing it. Mm -hmm. And you just gotta value yourself to the point where you don't wanna give yourself, you don't wanna let everybody um, test you or take you for a test run like you're more valuable than that yeah because then that's why like and i'm i'm not i'm speaking on girls just because that's the perspective i have but dudes do it too like they oh, oh my stuff you know they be fun and like are trying to brag but i feel like that's what you when people say qualities or think about a wife you talk about how you could cook and how wet your stuff is and it's just like mm -hmm. <laughs> okay that's what you bring it to the table like it don't even matter because at the end of the day what i have in the inside is worth more than that and even though it sounds like okay everybody said that but that's that's <laughs> real like all that extra that's stuff real. should just be a cherry on top and i'm not um trying to like throw celibacy celibacy at somebody or at people but like i said before i, I do feel like everybody could benefit from it so um undoubtedly and if you if you're in a relationship um like take that <clears throat> take that off the table and see where your relationship is mm -hmm. like because that definitely sex cannot hold a relationship together and like you, you touched on that mm -hmm. earlier so it's not because at the end of the day your stuff not the only one that's popping oh wow for real right. like yeah. so you thinking that's the glue to your relationship mm -hmm. when he can go outside and, and get the, the same, same thing. thing. That's yeah. why it's like, oh, how can you cheat on her? And she's so pretty and honest because that doesn't, that's not, like you said, that doesn't keep a relationship. That doesn't keep it going. I was going to say, <clears throat> like, my answer to, like, what do I have, what do I got to say to when people say you got to test it out is just the fact that when you are honoring God and being obedient, like, he knows everything you want. So he not going to have you go through a whole journey where you, you know been keeping your virginity or you've been celibate for years and years mm -hmm. just to give you somebody that's why yeah like he know what you want and he's gonna honor and bless bless you for it so i don't know that that really be my thing when people be saying that like you really think he would not honor you and you would not be rewarded for you know being obedient so mm -hmm. that's nothing i ever thought about like dang what if i waited all this time in this small no like because i know god knows what i want so, uh, another question that people might have is, what do you do when you're horny? Like, you can, we could do single and in a relationship. Okay. So. so, let's do single first. When I was single, um, and I'll bring you through different stages. Like, first when I was single, like, I just used to watch porn all much. Um, but that wasn't a good solution because then that desire would just keep coming. So, after a while... Like, I just had to put my mind on something else, whether it was to work out. Um, that was my biggest thing, work out, um, do something like kick it with friends, but something just to get my mind off of that. Mm. So. I say the same. Like, I just try not to focus on it. And occupy my mind with something else. Or for real, just go to sleep. And 
yeah, even though them feelings can be strong and it can make you think like, dang, let me hit him up or I can't do this. It's still just the fact that, like you said before, just knowing your why. Why are you doing this? Because thinking about that is just going to keep you from, you know, breaking it or just going back to your old ways. And anytime I wanted to, I would just think about how low I felt, how empty I felt, how even when I did give myself away, they still didn't value me, still was getting cheated on, still was not getting appreciated. So it was just like it wasn't worth it to me. And at the end of the day, um, like I wanted more for myself. And I wanted, um, at the time, I was seeking my soulmate. Like, so I knew that, one, God had been telling me, like, a year and a half ago to stop doing it. He had already put it on my heart. So when I was doing it for myself first, and then, because I was wanting to seek my soulmate, I feel like that was a fuel to keep me going. So, being horny in a relationship, what I do is, I do the same thing I did when I was single. Just don't pay any attention, go to sleep, or put my attention on something else. And honestly, like, I can't say since I haven't done nothing in a year, those, like, I don't have many times where I'm, like, horny. Like, it don't be coming. Like, yeah, it happened, but it's just not as frequent because I'm not doing nothing no more. Mm, that's definitely a good point. Like, for me, it's the same since it's been so long. It's really... Not to say you don't never get urges because mm -hmm. we're young, right. we're um, both, or I can speak for you, you're attractive. <laughs> you <have to. laughs> so the urge comes sometimes, but like she was saying, you just got to put your mind on something else. Um, and that's it. Yeah. And then it's like, um, for me, when we started dating, I had only been a month celibate, so it was really hard for me in the beginning. So it did take a lot of... If we being real, like, no, like, we're not doing it. You got to remember. But if it wasn't for him, I I would have just went right back into it. And that's what it takes is a partnership. Um, so if you're not with somebody that's willing to do that or that's going to be strong in your week, then that's probably not the right person um, if, they don't, if they don't respect you want to do that enough. Because mm -hmm. to be honest, I'm not going to lie. Like, when I would be wanting to, and he'd be like, no, you more valuable than that. I'd be like... What the heck? Like, come on, what are you talking about? I know. But let's come on. And he would just be like, no, like, I don't, I don't want. Like, basically, he was telling me that he would feel like, he would feel bad if he did. And I'm like, dang, like, it, I've never had nobody who would say, you know, he would make me feel like he didn't value me if he did it. So, that was just a little different for me. But in the end, like, I just thank God for him because it's not a lot of men I heard that will turn somebody they with down just because um, of making them realize their worth and just really being obedient. That's really what it comes down to, it, being obedient. So, yeah, just what he said, if you don't have anybody that is on the same wavelength as you and is just um, led by God, because that's really what it was. It's not like you had the ability to do it on your own. Right. It's really God. Yeah. So, yeah. that's our answer for that. Yeah, and if not God, because everybody has a different reasons. Just have a strong enough why. Like, if you don't have a strong enough why, you might as well not start because you're not going to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to, if you're seriously thinking about it, you got to sit down and think, like, why am I doing this? What's the benefits? What's the cons? And just wait it to. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope y'all took a lot from it. Um, I would love for y'all just to give me y'all opinions in the comment section below. Tell me if, you know, what, what state are you in currently in your life? Do you feel like... Maybe this is something that you could do. Um, or if you're not, maybe tell when you did feel low. Like, what did you do to get out of um, not feeling valuable? Or whatever the case may be. Like, I would really love to talk to y'all in the comments below. So, give this video 20 likes. And maybe we'll make a video on, like, how we met and how God told us that we were for each other. But, alright then. See y'all later. Don't forget.